Well, animal rights activists are staging protests this morning, invading farms across the country in what's being dubbed the biggest animal rights protest the world has ever seen. Let's bring in Tony Ma from the National Farmers Federation. Tony, good morning to you. We know preparations have been very secretive, but what information have you managed to gather in terms of the scale of these protests and just where they'll take place? Georgie, it's extremely concerning, these uh, activist behaviour. What we're dealing with is radicalised uh, extremists, and, and they are that. They've got philosophical views that they are uh, forcing onto other parts of the community. So farmers are law-abiding, um, hard-working citizens going about their daily jobs of uh, producing all the food and fibre that Australians love. They've had to put up with drought, floods and fires, and now now they have to deal with these radical extremists coming onto their businesses, terrifying them, uh, invading their homes. So it's a really serious development and we would love the community support to stop this. Well, we know a protest is underway at an abattoir in Warwick in Queensland. Do you know anything about that and, and, and where else is going to be affected as far as you know? Yeah, Georgie, look, we've had some intelligence to suggest that this will be uh, targeted pretty well in, in every state across the country, again, which is extremely concerning. Um, we know that there was plans in Queensland, as you say, in Warwick. We think there's going to be something happening in Victoria. Um, it, it is just irrational behaviour, unreasonable behaviour. Can you imagine if, you know, a hundred or so people t dressed in black turned up to your uh, place of business or your home and, and forced their views onto you because you have a different view to them. It is unreasonable and we would love the community support to sign our petition at farmers.org.au so we can get changes in the law so to bring in some deterrence to these people. They're terrifying the population, Georgie. Yeah, we're just hearing actually there's another one that is taking place. It's just started outside Flinders Street Station in Melbourne. So they're, they're widespread. Um, the Queensland government has described these demonstrators as militant. It's threatening huge on-the-spot fines. Um, do you believe that'll act as a deterrent? Well, it's a step in the right direction and, and luckily the Agriculture Minister David Littleproud and the Attorney General have made some changes to the Privacy Act. So some of these organisations were um, going through a loophole in the in legislation that they weren't subject to the privacy provisions. Now that's been changed, which is a step in the right direction. We really need stronger action on these to protect Australian farmers. They are going about their normal business, law-abiding citizens, working hard, putting up with all the challenges we know the farming industry puts up with to deliver the food food and fibre, and now they've had to put up with these radical extremists coming to try and force their views onto uh, people that don't, don't agree with them, and, and it is just unreasonable. And quite understandably, many are very angry. We've heard that some farmers have indicated they'll pull out their guns if they're approached and fire warning shots. What, what advice do you have for those affected by these protests, either today or in the future? Well, that is the real risk, Georgie, absolutely. I mean, people are protecting their homes and protecting their families. We are really worried that someone is going to get seriously hurt here. No doubt you'd discourage them to pull, from pulling out their guns, though. Abs absolutely, of mm. course we would. What we need them to do is to lock points of entry, take video footage, ask people to leave, contact triple zero and report it to the authorities so we can stop these people. All right, we're out of time. We'll leave it there for now, Tony. We'll stay across it. Thank you very much.